is the second tutorial in my Gem Cut Studio or GCS tutorial series. In the first tutorial, I explained what capabilities of GCS I hope to learn about and use as a gem cutter. And I also showed you how to download the GCS program and to start the 30 day free trial. So now that I have GCS up and running, the next thing I want to do is to start consolidating all my existing gem cut designs into one design folder in GCS. This will be the start of my personal library of gem designs, at least the gem designs I like and cut often, and they'll all be on my computer. The file menu at the top of the GCS screen is how you access all the designs you have in GCS. So in this tutorial, I will work with and learn about the file dropdown in the menu bar at the top of the GCS application. GemCut Studio can open native .gcs files as well as files in the GemCAD, the .gem, and the .asc format. GCS cannot open paper files like a PDF file. I'll have to manually load those designs into GCS and we'll worry about that in a future tutorial. So the options in the file menu are new, open, save, save as, export, and print. Option new clears the current design and starts from a new block of rough. We'll work with the new option in a future tutorial. Option open, um, this option opens the GCS design file uh, in my C drive, which in my computer uh, is where this file is. Um, and it's actually in my computer at this PC slash documents slash GemCut Studio slash designs. And this is where all my GCS designs will be located. Option save, this option saves designs that I have opened into the GCS design folder. GCS will give you the option of saving .gem or .asc files into the .gcs format. Option save as, this is where you can save a file you're working on under a different name, like when you're testing out a new row of facets on a cut. Option export allows you to export your design to compatible formats such as gemcads.gem and ASC formats. Option print turns your design into a PDF format for printing. And for me, nowadays, often when I'm faceting, I just open a PDF file on my computer uh, so that I can view the instructions on my monitor as I cut the design. I don't really need to print off another piece of paper. So let's examine the open menu option. When you select open, GCS looks for all the gem cutting designs in the native .gcs format and also for designs in the gemcad.gem and .asc formats. As you can see, my GCS design folder is currently empty. I already have a folder in my C drive that I call Favorite Design. It has a number of designs that I've collected over time. Some I've cut, some I thought were pretty cool and want to cut. They're in gemcad.gem format, some are Microsoft Word documents, some are Adobe Acrobat PDF documents, some are even JPEG photos of gem designs. So. GCS can read the gemcad.gem format, but it can't read Microsoft Word documents, Adobe PDF or JPEGs. It can also read the .asc files. So in my file of favorite designs, there is one, uh, there's a .gem gemcad design called Simple Portuguese, which was created by the late Jeff Graham. I've cut it many times and like it. So I'm simply going to use a standard copy paste action to copy this file from my design file in my C drive into my new GCS designs folder. Now, when I use the file menu and select open, the design simple Portuguese is in my GCS designs folder. Uh, and you know, it's still in the .gem format. Um, so if I open uh, simple Portuguese, which is no problem as GCS reads .gem files, um, I see that it is the same file. I can then save it again. And this time, GCS saves it as a .gcs formatted file. So now I have two simple Portuguese designs in my design folder. 
the original .gem file and the new .gcs file. The export option of the file menu is where I would go if I wanted to save the file again in a different format such as the .gem. So that's simple enough. I'll be able to move all my existing designs, the ones that have a GemCAD format, directly into my new GCS design folder and use them with GCS. But what about designs that are on the web? Can I pull them into GCS? Well, there's no one place where all published GemCAD designs are located, but a lot of designs are at uh, bassettdiagrams.org. So let's see if I can pull in a design from that site. I'll just pick a standard emerald shape design. Note that when I search the facetdiagrams.org site, I always select uh, only show open designs with GemCAD ASC files and cutting instructions. These are the designs that are in this database where the creator of the design provided the cutting instructions with the design. If you don't check that block, you'll get all the designs, including the designs where a creator has not shared the cutting instructions. Well, you can't cut the design without the instructions. So I don't even want to see those designs. So here is a gem cutting uh, diagram called PC04112 Commercial Tourmaline. And it is in the .asc format. So in the gems, in the facet diagram site, I select download PC04112.asc and it will download the file to my computer. I then simply copy paste or cut paste the file into my GCS design folder. So now when I open the folder in the file menu, PC04112 is there. Uh, you can see it's in an .asc format, but I can open it and see that it's the same design uh, that I got from the facet diagram site. Another great source for gem cutting designs is the Gemology Project at gemologyproject.com. Let's see if I can download a design from there into my new GCS design folder. Here's a design called Square Chickies. It's by Marco Volantini, and I have cut this before. I really like this design, so I want to add it to my GCS design folder. Uh, so I downloaded squarechickies.gem to my computer, and then I move it into my GCS design folder. So when I open up my GCS designs, I can see that squarechickies.gem is there and I can open it, simple. So in this video, I showed you how to build your GCS design folder and fill it with all those gem cutting diagrams and designs that you like and use. It is simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment as that gives me feedback that you are finding these tutorials useful. And of course, your comments are greatly appreciated. If I missed something or didn't say something that new cutters need to know and that you do know, please comment. And as always, happy faceting everyone. Wow.